So we're going to go into hypnosis and we're going to cover something so important, your limiting beliefs, your blocking thoughts. Where did you get them? Why do you have them? Because they don't do anything for you. Limiting beliefs don't motivate you. They don't empower you. They don't help you. They get right in your way. They block you. So how do we even get these limiting beliefs? Well, well you've probably heard that expression, comparison is the thief of joy. A baby doesn't even know how to compare themselves. They have no idea, but parents, and teachers and friends and family and other kids begin to say, well, your sister could read when she was five. And then we go to school and they have streaming, the most terrible thing, where we are compared to other kids, always smarter than us, better than us. And then every magazine, every newspaper, everything on television compares you until you get overexposed every day to fake images of perfection, which are not real, but they feel real and they make you feel inadequate. These things are not real, but that doesn't matter because when you're compared Head. When someone else is right, it makes you wrong. When someone else is better than you, you feel less than. We feel less than and not good enough, and it isn't true. Well, I want you to stop that, shatter that, erase that, end that. You're unique. You can't compare yourself to anyone. There's no one in the world like you. There never will be ever again, ever. You are unique with your own gifts, your own talents, your own special something. Comparison is the thief of joy. Stop giving away your joy by believing you're not enough. Take your joy back. Claim your enoughness. You own it. It's your birthright. So how do you go into hypnosis? Well, it's super easy. You roll up your eyes, shut them down. I'm going to take you with me into hypnosis. It isn't scary. You'll really love it. It doesn't send you to sleep. It wakes you up to your potential. You can't relive anything and only review it. So just let's practice the position of the eyes. Just pretend you're trying to look into your very own eyebrows here. And keeping your eyeballs up, just close your eyelids down. If you can do that, go into hypnosis. So roll up your eyes as if you're looking to your eyebrows. Keep your eyeballs up, close the lids down. If you can do that, you can go into hypnosis. And now let's do it for real. I want you to look up as high as you can. Keep your eyeballs up, breathe in, breathe out. Every time you blink, deep, powerful healing hypnosis is coming upon you again. Keeping your eyeballs up, breathe in, breathe out. And just one final time, breathe in. Keep your eyeballs up, keeping your eyeballs up. As you exhale, just close your eyelids right down. And now forget all about your eyes. Forget all about your eyes. Just drop your chin. And just allow a drifting, floating feeling to develop in your body. Let your eyeballs go wherever they want. Just hold on to that looking down feeling that you might get as you look down a flight of stairs. And as I count backwards... You're going to see your feet, hear your feet, feel your feet treading each step. You are looking down 10 steps. You are moving on to step 10. As each muscle, every nerve turns loose, lets loose and you go deeper. You're taking step 9 and 8 as you gently Calmly, easily move on over to an even deeper level. You are taking steps seven and six as each muscle. Every nerve turns loose, lets loose, and you go deeper. You're taking step five and four. Going deeper with every sound you hear, the sound of your breathing. The sound of your heart beating is taking you deeper as you take step three. Every sound, every noise just flows right through you, taking you deeper and deeper into powerful healing hypnosis. You're taking step two, going way deeper. You're taking step one, just go deeper, 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 deeper. And as you go deeper, the question is not, hey, am I hypnotized? Is this hypnosis? The question is, can I give myself a suggestion and watch as my body makes it real? So we're going to give you a suggestion. I'm going to give you a suggestion. You're going to give yourself a suggestion. Here's the suggestion. I want you to imagine that as you put all of your attention onto your fingertips, you can feel a tingling sensation 
like pins and needles moving across your fingertips. Focus your attention and say to yourself, wow, I can feel this tingling in my fingertips. You can feel a tingling in your fingertips, in each of your fingertips. And as you focus on that tingling, it's increasing all by itself. And you can just notice that happening. And I want you to move that tingling all the way down to the base of your fingers, all the way across your palms and even onto the back of your hand. And as you focus on that tingling in your fingertips, spreading across your palms as you focus on it, it's increasing all by itself and you can just notice that happening. And I want you to move that tingling to the tips of your toes. As you focus on a tingling sensation in the tips of your toes, it is increasing all by itself and you can notice that happening. In fact, you can move that tingling down to the ball of your foot, down to the arch, way back to the heel. Then you can move it back to your fingertips. And now just forget about that because that was just showing you, hey, you can think a thought and your body can make it real. So if you think a thought and your body makes it real, and that's your body's job, by the way, to make a thought real. That's why when you feel sad, your eyes fill up with tears, you feel embarrassed, you blush, you think of food, your tummy rumbles. Every day we think thoughts that our body makes real, and our job is to think better thoughts. So I want you to think about being a little tiny baby in the womb once, not that long ago. You're a tiny baby in the womb and all your needs were met. You were connected to a person you felt their heartbeat. You had room service 24 hours a day. It was always warm and every need was met. And when you were born, you had an interesting belief, hey, all my needs are going to be met. That's why babies cry in the middle of the night, refuse food when they're not hungry. You were born with a belief, I'm here and I'm lovable and all my needs are going to get met. And then things happened and that belief became submerged, buried behind underneath some beliefs that aren't real. And as a child, for all kinds of reasons, you bought into I'm not enough, usually because you're compared to other people. We think everyone's better than you. And then television and magazines and social media keep that going. But today, I want you to just let your mind go back and remember coming onto the planet certain that you're enough. You talk about babies demanding attention, crying on demand. I want you to remember that you were born knowing you're enough. As you remember, as you remember that you had to have come onto the planet knowing you're enough. As you remember that right this minute, you are reactivating, remanifesting, regenerating, recreating the truth about you. You are enough. And as you go deeper, as you go deeper, drift deeper, sink deeper, I want you to imagine finding that perfect little baby. Even put your arms around yourself and hold that perfect little baby. Maybe rock it in your arms and look at that baby. And I want you to say these words out loud, even if it feels silly or foolish. Do it anyway until it feels normal. Look at that little baby and I want you to repeat these exact words. I want you to go, wow, look at you. You are the cutest thing. You are the cutest, most gorgeous little baby. You are loved. You are wanted. You are talented. I am becoming a loving parent to you now. And I know that you're enough. I want you to imagine if your parents had a degree in raising you with high self-esteem, what would they have said? They would have said things like, you're so smart. You're so interesting. You're such good company. Wow, I lucked out when I got you. How lucky did I get to parent you, parenting you? is the joy of my life. You're smart, you're clever, you're interesting, you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, I love you so much. And all your life people will love you like I love you because you're lovable. Imagine if we all heard that every day and it sank in like butter on hot toast and nourished us from the inside. 
Most of us didn't hear that, but today, today you get to put that right. Today you get to hear it. You get to let it sink in like lotion on dry skin so it becomes balm for your very soul. So look at that little baby and say, you are enough. You are lovable enough, good enough, worthy enough, smart enough, attractive enough, interesting enough, compelling enough. You're deserving of everything. You deserve love. You deserve love. You deserve happiness. You deserve joy. You deserve success. And I want you to think of the missing things, the words you never heard, the words you wanted to hear, should have heard, deserved to have, but you didn't hear them. You're my favorite. You're the smartest kid. You're the most amazing kid. You're the most loved kid, the most wanted kid. We all deserve to hear those words, so say them now. You are the most loved kid. You are the most wanted kid. You're the most adored kid. You're the smartest kid, the most loved kid, the most cherished kid. It doesn't have to be true, just say it, because you know your mind is going to make it true. So look at that little baby and repeat these exact words. You are enough. You are enough. You matter. You are significant. You are lovable just the way you are. You are enough, you are lovable, you matter, you're significant, you're meant to be here. And the universe that put you here will support you in everything you do because you're lovable, you matter, you're significant, you're enough. And add in anything you want to add in, you're the cutest, smartest, most lovable, most adored, most cherished, you're the favorite, add in anything you like. And then we're going to flip it to I. So I want you to go, I am enough. I am enough. I am lovable. I matter. I'm significant. Do it again. I am enough. I am lovable. I matter. I'm significant. The words that follow I am are going to follow you. The words that go after I am will go after you. So let's do a lot of great I ams. I am enough. I am worthy enough. I am lovable enough. I am good enough. I am smart enough, interesting enough, beautiful enough. I am enough. I have always been enough. I always will be enough. And as I know it, I give the world permission to know it too. And again, your mind learns by repetition, make your voice more powerful. Let's say this is unshakable, unwavering conviction and certainty because after all it is true. I am enough. I am lovable enough. I am worthy enough. I am good enough. I am significant enough. I am always enough. I always have been enough. I always will be enough. I am enough. I am lovable. I matter, I am significant, I am worthy. And now let's add in some words. I am always enough. I am magnetically, powerfully lovable. I am deeply, powerfully significant. I always matter. I am so worthy, so freaking worthy. I am always worthy. Just add words in front of the words to make it bigger, brighter. One more time. I am enough. I am always enough. I couldn't be more enough. I am so enough. I am magnetically, irresistibly lovable. I am supremely, radiantly confident. I am so extraordinarily significant. I always matter. I radiate supreme inner confidence. And I'm going to go silent now and let you add some more statements of truth. I want you to say whatever you want to say, make it positive, make it powerful, put words in front of the words and do it right now.
And I want you to do this every day until this is not what you do. This is who you are. When you do this every day, when you state, affirm, embody who you are, the strongest force in all of us as we act in a way that matches and lines up with how we identify ourselves, the strongest force in you and in me is that we must act in a way that matches, that lines up with how we identify ourselves. And here's a few other strong forces. Every thought you think is a blueprint that your mind and body work to make real. Every thought you think creates a physical reaction and an emotional response. A belief is nothing more than a thought you think all the time, your thoughts are yours to change. So imagine when you're doing this every day, you're changing the blueprint, changing how you define you. And it is changing you in every way possible. Until this isn't what you do, it's who you are, then you are winning at life, winning at walking through life with high self-esteem, high self-confidence, a powerful sense of self. Just stating these words every day is making sure that you are raising your sense of self-worth, your sense of self-image, your sense of self-value, your sense of confidence and your sense of self-esteem. And no one can do that for you. You can't outsource that. You can't give that to someone else. It is your job entirely your job to raise your self-esteem, your self-worth, your self-image, your self-confidence. When you make these statements, you are doing your job so well. So one more time, let's really go for it. Say it with unshakable confidence. I am enough. I matter. I'm deeply lovable. I am good enough, worthy enough, smart enough, skilled enough, interesting enough, compelling enough, beautiful enough, smart enough. Add some more. I am qualified enough, lovable enough, good enough, worthy enough, deserving enough. I am enough. I am lovable. I am worthy. I matter. I am significant. If you want to quantify it, here's how you do that. I'm enough because I'm enough. I'm lovable because I'm lovable. I matter because I matter. I'm significant because I am significant. And then add in some words, I am so enough. I am deeply, magnetically, irresistibly lovable. I am so incredibly significant. I matter so very much. I radiate supreme, reassuring confidence and add anything you like. I'm super intelligent, I'm super sexy, I'm super warm and friendly. Make a few more statements right now and commit to doing this every day because I can only tell you the truth about you. You are enough. And when you stay to affirm it, embody it every day, you're moving on from one phenomenal accomplishment to another. Every day, these words are becoming the truth about you. Every day you are growing, growing in the most powerful way. Every day you're aware of an incredible transformation taking place in you as you walk through the world knowing you are lovable, knowing you matter, knowing you are enough. And you always will be so knowing it now, believing it now, making it your reality, knowing that the way you feel about everything is down to the pictures you make the words you form when you are making the right words, the right pictures. And as you make the right words and pictures, they're turning right around and making you. You make your beliefs and your beliefs turn around and make you. So let's make your beliefs amazing as a belief is just a thought you think all the time. So make your thoughts amazing. Do it all the time. It's going to change your entire life. Knowing it, feeling it, believing it, living it, letting it sink in like lotion sinks into dry skin and nourishes your skin. These words are sinking and nourishing your very soul, your very psyche. So knowing it, feeling it, believing it, repeating it every day, when you're ready, just slowly, calmly, easily, effortlessly, just come back into the room, take a deep breath. And of course, if you happen to play this recording in bed at night before sleeping, you can right now, 
drift into a deep, beautiful, healing sleep that will carry you right through to the morning. And you'll wake up feeling amazing, feeling refreshed, feeling revitalized, and knowing with your very core that of course you're enough. How could you not be? Always have been, always will be. You're enough right now. So come back to your full awareness, drift into a deep sleep right now. Thanks for tuning in. Remember to play this every day. My voice will go with you. This is not what you're doing. This is what you are becoming. And it's definitely becoming you.